May all your cards be live and your pots be monster. Just his voice alone harkens you back to the glory days of early 2000s poker. There's no doubt about it, Mike Sexton, along with Vince Van Patten, epitomized the poker boom. But when Mike unfortunately passed away in 2020, a piece of poker passed with him. So what was it about Mike Sexton that just made everything about poker better? Sexton shows a freeze. Wow! Wow! <laughs> that was dirty. Mike, that was dirty. We're going to get into it, but before we do, thank you for checking out this video. Poker Boom is a channel all about poker, and we appreciate all you poker fans for being a part of our channel. Let us know in the comments what poker stories you'd like for us to cover next. Okay, here we go. In the realm of poker, few names carry as much weight and reverence as Mike Sexton. His journey from a fledgling poker player to a revered figure in the industry is nothing short of remarkable. Mike Sexton is, is quite simply one of the most important people in the history of the game. The poker boom of the early 2000s not only transformed the landscape of the game, but also served as a catalyst for his resurgence in the spotlight. Renowned within the poker community as the ambassador of poker, Mike Sexton's affinity for poker traces all the way back to his early days in Ohio. Born on September 22, 1947, Mike Sexton's passion for the game was ignited during his college years. We were playing wiffle ball, we were playing ping pong, we played cards, we bet on it. So, you know, that, I guess that was the one vice of our kids is that uh, we grew up gambling and unfortunately uh, it took a real hold with me, I guess. Despite being a gymnast and initially pursuing a degree in public recreation, Sexton found himself drawn to the allure of poker. He honed his skills in local games and developed a keen understanding of the nuances of the game. His entry into the professional poker circuit came in the 1970s, a time when the game was far less glamorous than it is today. He embarked on a journey filled with ups, downs, and grinded his way through small tournaments and cash games. His perseverance would eventually pay off when he secured his first major title, winning the World Series of Poker bracelet in 1989 in a $1,500 seven-card stud split event. Sexton's impact on the world of poker was profound and it was multifaceted. Spanning across broadcasting, business, and gameplay itself, many of today's surviving poker legends attribute a significant portion of the game's success to Sexton's influential contributions. I mean, he's been, you know, one of the biggest ambassadors for poker we've ever had. And he's always put a good face on poker. He's always been someone that promotes the game in a very, very positive way. No one knows poker better than him. Mike Sexton played an instrumental role in the establishment of Party Poker, a highly successful platform that any poker fan is well aware of. He said, look, I said, I know nothing about software. I know nothing about computers. I said, all I know is poker. They said, if you tell us what to do, we can do it. And of course, he was a familiar face on television screens as a longtime commentator for the World Poker Tour, where he partnered with Vince Van Patten to provide analysis during international televised tournaments. This partnership with the World Poker Tour proved to be groundbreaking. As the voice of the WPT, his charismatic commentary and insightful analysis captivated audiences worldwide. The cash is coming in, and look at the Bellagio beauty bringing out the cash. And 10 gallon hats in tribute to all about them. His role in bringing poker to mainstream audiences cannot be overstated, as the WPT played a pivotal role in fueling the poker boom of the early 2000s. And we looked at each other and we said, this show is going to be a hit. Everybody's going to love watching this. I can tell you that if you like poker. And despite his considerable achievements in the commentary booth and behind the scenes, Sexton remained no stranger to the poker felt. Throughout his playing career, he amassed nearly $7 million in tournament earnings. Yet what truly set Sexton apart was not just his skill to the table, but his affable nature and widespread popularity among his peers. Actress and poker player Jennifer Tilly captured his demeanor, noting that even when he took players' money, they still would never hold anything against him. And in a story straight out of the movies, Sexton's crowning moment as a player came in 2016 when he clinched his very own World Poker Tour title after almost 15 years of commentating for the same series. For the great Mike Sexton! The significance of this victory was not lost in the poker community, 
with many expressing admiration for his perseverance and dedication to the game. But beyond his achievements in poker, Sexton was a multifaceted individual who left an indelible mark on various spheres of his life. He authored two books, he established a nonprofit organization aimed at supporting veterans' causes in Las Vegas communities, and he played an active role in youth sports as a Little League baseball coach. And even amidst all of this and his poker pursuits, he prioritized his family, welcoming a son at the age of 61 in 2008. I just know how lucky I am to have had a child at 60 years old, and you know now he's my life, of course. And the pinnacle of Sexton's career came with his induction into the prestigious Poker Hall of Fame in 2009, a distinction he cherished second only to the World Poker Tour's decision to rename its Champions Cup in his honor. Would you please stand now and welcome Mike Sexton into the 2009 Class of Poker's Hall of Fame. Phil Hellmuth eloquently summed up Sexton's legacy, asserting that poker owes much of its esteemed reputation to Sexton's unwavering advocacy and gentlemanly demeanor. But taking a step back and going back into his early days, despite his early successes and contributions, Mike Sexton's career faced a period of stagnation as the popularity of poker waned in the late 1990s. With fewer opportunities in the spotlight, Sexton found himself grappling with dwindling relevance in the poker community. However, the dawn of the poker boom revitalized Sexton's career in unprecedented ways. As televised poker exploded in popularity, Sexton's role as a commentator for the WPT thrust him back into the limelight. His infectious enthusiasm and deep understanding of the game endeared him to audiences worldwide. And he does take beats well at the table. I've played with the guy a number of times. And I'm telling you, he needles and dishes it out, but when he gets beat or takes a bad beat... And his presence became synonymous with the poker boom, as he played an integral role in shaping the narrative of the era. And this poker boom era not only reignited Mike Sexton's career, but also solidified his status as a poker icon. His contributions as a player, commentator, and ambassador cemented his legacy as one of the most influential figures in the history of the game. Sexton's impact transcended the felt, his passion for poker and unwavering dedication to its growth left an indelible mark on the community. Tragically, the poker world bid farewell to Mike Sexton on September 6, 2020, following a battle with prostate cancer. His passing sent shockwaves to the poker community as players and fans mourned the loss of a true legend. In Sexton's death, the poker world lost more than just a player or a commentator. It lost a guiding light whose passion and integrity inspired generations of players. As news of Sexton's passing reverberated throughout the poker world, tributes poured in from friends and fans alike. And at the end of the day, the poker boom of the early 2000s served as a watershed moment in Mike Sexton's career propelling him to new heights of fame and success. And while his physical presence may be gone, Mike Sexton's legacy endures, reminding us of the enduring impact of his contributions to the world of poker. As players continue to shuffle chips and chase glory at the tables, Mike Sexton's spirit lives on, forever etched in the annals of poker history. And that's it for this one. Thank you for checking out this episode of Poker Boom. And let us know in the comments what your greatest Mike Sexton memory is. And of course, may all your cards be live and all your pots be monsters. We'll see you in the next one.